Hey guys, how you doing? I'm back. I'm back with another video. You know what I'm saying? So let's just get out that, get this out the way. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. I'm going. I told you guys I'm gonna be back with some more videos as soon as I get some good content or think of some. I'm pushing them. I'm pushing them out like water. Anyway, <laughs> so let's get to it. So this video is going to be about Haslab playsets. Now you guys are asking like, are, are they making Has Has Lab playsets? No, they're not making it. But listen to what I'm saying. They should be making has lab places. You ask why? Why? Question mark, question mark, question mark. They should be making has lab playsets or has lab things that would fit into the category of has lab is because I see them making these overpriced figurines like they're, they're making like just actual figurines that you would see on a show like Optimus Prime. He's huge. Uh, you, you, you make a Bumblebee. He's huge. You make um, a Snake Eyes. They make that. They make these little, these figurines. And it's just like, what, what, what if one day you want to make the play set that these figurines can all sit in? Because that's, that's really what we want. When we collect figurines as us being like collectors out there, even if, you just want to, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you just, you, you're a closed box or you're an open box. Either way, you want that play set because that's what we wanted as a kid. After we got all the Ninja Turtles, after we got all the, the, the Transformers that we wanted, the, the, the G.I. Joes, especially the G.I. Joes, especially the Star Wars, you wanted to put them in a play set. You, you wanted to put them somewhere where they had a home at because, you know, we can, we, we all could go around and, set the figurines up in a curio, set them up on a table, but nothing's gonna bring these things to life like the play sets, you know what I'm saying? And that's really what I think has Lab should start doing. Stop making these overpriced type of, you know what I'm saying, like figurines, cause it's like, damn, like what if you make, like, wh wh okay, what, what if you make, okay, the his tank for the G.I. Joe Classified. So let's say you want to make the um, the the dome from the GI Joe thing. What's this thing gonna be? A, a, a an apartment size? You know what I'm saying? Like it's just. And what you gonna do? Charge a thousand dollars for that? Like you know what I'm saying? Like come on. You know what I'm saying? Like that's just how I see it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like make the play sets. So as we as I speak on that, I jotted down a few things that they should be making with some of the Haslab things I have saw over the years and things that I think that they should be making and really put into thought other than what they have been making. So let's get to it. Okay, so first on my list that I came across, I took a little picture, a little screenshots, okay, is the Mega Megazord. Instead of making all those new age piece of shit Power Rangers that they've been putting out, and I'm not trying to be mean, but the, but the, the, the Power Rangers clash with, with Street Fighter, clash with, uh, shit on the street, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what you're doing. Like, stop. Just leave it old school. Leave it old school like the Power Rangers should be. And stop making all these godforsaken ugly Power Rangers. I'm I, I'm sorry for somebody who does collect those Power Rangers, but I think those things are the... I think the, the new ones are the most ugliest shits I have ever saw in my life. I, I love my old school Power Rangers because that's what they should be. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway. So, I think that they should be making... Mega um, Megazord from the Power Rangers. I think that they should make like the size that they make all these other Haslab figurines. They should make the Has. They should make the Haslab playset, and they should add these into it. Uh, it's, if you're gonna make something big, make the first thing that should have came to you guys' head is the Megazord. Megazord should have been when it comes to Power Rangers. That should have been the, <clears throat> the 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 first thing. The next thing on the list is I mean and. Before I go to the next thing on the list, you can, what about, you know what I'm saying? When you raking this money up and charging the things for like 500, 300 some dollars, 
put put a little bit, you know what I'm saying, to it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can make this this Megazord's light shine up like he did. You can um put some little, you know what I'm saying, put 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 some little imps on it too. Like, you know what I'm saying? Make him, like, you know what I'm saying? You can doodle with it. And then the most thing I feel like what would sell you guys the thing, I feel like I'm working for Hasbro right now, um, is you could break these, You could, if you did a Megazord, you could break them a piece, just like in the TV show, uh, the dinosaur, the lion, the elephant, um, the the pterodactyl, and the uh, rhino, or the triceratops, whatever. So, I was just thinking about that. Oh, okay, no matter. <laughs> no matter. So, anyway, you could do that. You know what I'm saying? And then... You can, and then the other one that comes to my mind when it comes to Power Rangers is if you got Megazord, what's next, guys? Is, um, I don't know what his name is. But anyway, I was going to say it should be Tommy's Dragon Zord or whatever. I think that's it. I think it's the Dragon Zord or the, the, I, I think that's what it is. It's the, the Dragon Zord. So the Dragon Zord, one of my favorite ones that I never had as a kid, always wanted. Is they should make the the Dragon Zord. This thing is bad ass. I, I think they sh this thing would be something to make big. You know what I'm saying? That, that, like that. This would be cool. And then you can. And I mean, are you, I mean, we paying all this money for all these other. Well, we I ain't paying shit like that. But I'm just saying, like for all of, for all you guys who do pay that much money, I'm saying why you know this would be something to invest in. Like like this would be crazy. And then after you get. Let's say they sell the Megazord. Then they say they sell the, the Dragon Zord. Then you can transform like they do. You know what I'm saying? Like in, in the TV show. And that would be crazy. And then it would just, that would be awesome if they made this thing this big. It really would. Okay, moving on other than the Power Rangers. Let's talk about the G.I. Joe. Okay, I understand the his tank. It looked pretty cool. It looked all right. But guys. You know what I'm saying? The his tank, you know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's cool, but is it cooler than what I'm about to tell you? Okay, they should be making, you know what I'm saying? Like, the the big stuff from, from G.I. Joe. Not not the little shits. They should be making the big stuff. Because we all know G.I. Joe had, they had w war domes, they had vehicles, they had, they had a lot of stuff. But most of all, they had these nice-ass play sets. So I was scheming through Google, and I was trying to look for these names. And do you guys remember... The um, space vehicle launch complex. I was looking at that thing. I was like, dude, that's what they need to make. While you're looking at these pictures, this is what I'm saying. This is what they need to make. I mean, look at the picture. Look at the kid. The, the, the thing is bigger than the kid. This thing is huge. Like, huge. I'm, I'm like, man. Like, I mean, this is what they need to be making. This thing is nice. I mean, nice. That thing we all, that, that, that this would be worth the money. That they be asking. You guys asking for will it reach? Trust me, Hasbro. If you guys put this thing on here, made this thing, guarantee you this thing will fly off the market. It would be no questions asked. You know what I'm saying? Because who wouldn't want to have all these classified figurines? And then you could put them inside this playset. Stop, stop. Put Haslab playsets. That's what you guys need to be having to ask. Okay, and I want my part of it. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, I'm giving you guys an idea. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, so, okay, another G.I. Joe thing that they should be making is the G.I. Joe, which is Cobra Terra Dome. I remember going over my cousin's house. Oh, my gosh. I, God, I cannot tell you how happy I was to see. I'm telling you, I used to just go over my cousin's house just to look at the shit. I could care less about seeing their asses. I love to see this. I love to see this um, G.I. Joe um, Terra Dome. I mean, because it was like, you could put all, you could, you could put all the, the G.I. Joe figurines in there. It was cool. They had secret doors on the top. Everybody else was like controlling. It, it was like living inside the cartoon. I loved it. You, you guys, like, look at these pictures I'm putting out. Tell me you wouldn't want to see this in Hazlab. Tell me you wouldn't want to see this. Like, I mean, for real, I'm moving aside because the pictures got to fit right. Like, you guys, yeah, let, let it sink in. Pause the video. Let it sink in. You know what I'm saying? This will what it would be. Okay, so moving on from there, because I want to make this video so long. Cause I'm getting excited. Cause I feel like it's I feel like me making this video is gonna make it like happen. You know what I'm saying? It's like speaking into existence. Okay, moving on. From Transformers. Now, they keep on making these Japanese piece of shits 
of Transformers that they know. And I say piece of shit because they're going to charge this stuff out the anus. You know what I'm saying? Transformers are already a lot of money. And it's like the bigger you make a Transformer, the more money it's going to be. So on that being said, if you're going to do that, do it right. You know what I'm saying? Why not make the, the I don't know what you want to call it, the the place where Optimus Prime and all the um, Autobots stay in where the ship was, um, the, the ship. Why not make the ship? You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm putting a picture. I couldn't find, like, a good picture of it. But why not make that ship of where they can just, you know what I'm saying? They can go inside there. They be, uh, the, the, you know, that's in most of the cartoon, in the cartoon, before they started, like, if they weren't fighting the Decepticons, they were inside their ship mo some of the time. And it's like, why not make that? Why not make that ship so they can fit inside there? Because trust me, all the lovers of Transformers would love this Hasbro. Would love it. For, for real. They, they would love this. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, now, the who I'm about to say, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but I thought he was cool as shit when I used to see him. You know what I'm saying? I, I remember I saw him in Ross. Should have got him when the time was right. And when I, when I saw him, because this thing was, it was nice. So, uh, Tropicon, T-R-P-T-I-C-O-N, G-1. They sh Now, this thing looks badass. He looks cool. I remember seeing him in a cartoon. They really should make this type of one. He, I, I, I liked it because he just looked like an oversized Grimlock. For real, it, it really did. It looked really cool. Really awesome. Okay, let me see, guys. Okay, so last two. Last two, and, I, and then this video's over. Okay, Star Wars. Now, guys, we're making these, uh, what do you call it, um, the Black the black Series figurines. Okay. Hasbro, why hasn't you guys ever thought about making the Millennium Falcon this huge ass one? Why, why, why not make this one? Like, I mean, now, you guys, now we have saw many Millennium Falcons when it came to the three inch and a quarter. But what about the, the, the Millennium Falcon for the Black Series figurines? Just ding, ding, ding. Like, why Why not make that? that that'd that be real cool. And then for, you know, the, the, the dark side people, what about the Death Star? The Death Star. Now, I understand when, you, when we used to see the movie, it's a Death Star. They used to always take pictures of the Death Star when it was, the, when it was um, you know, whole and then when it got blown up. But it was a lot of stuff going on inside the Death Star that they could have made like that. You know what I'm saying? Just, just some things like that. But anyway, guys. That's it. I'm done rambling about things that I'm speaking to existence. I'm about to end this video. Let's don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, guys. Tell me what you think about this video. I'm out.